Good morning, LinkedIn family. Uh, kicking off the coffee we'll talk with Bob. Uh, this is actually my very first one, and I'm doing it with my favorite senior leadership team that works. We all work together. Uh, all these lovely women help me out a great deal. And uh, I have to say that since I joined the organization, this has been the best part of my job is, is working with these three. So uh, we have today, we have Rachel Kern. You guys can wave as, as, as I say. And then we have Monica, Monica Jasko. Hi, That's Bob. It. You got it. All right, cool. <laughs> and then uh, Michelle Onion, right? Onion, yes. Onion. That's Hawaiian <laughs> or something like that, isn't it? Oh, no. It actually was Armenian, but then they changed it when they came here from Armenia. They changed the spelling. Oh, cool. Armenian. And literally, cool. it's a unique last name. We're the only people in the whole country with that name. Wow. So, so is Monica's. Hers is a unique last name and a unique first name. Anyway, so. Yes. <laughs> um, and we all love her accent. It's really cool. I might have to record my voicemails for me. So when you call my voice line, you'll get Monica's call. I think it's <laughs> that awesome. Um, so anyway, so we're here today to talk about how we're supporting our teams uh, during this isolation, because obviously during this pandemic, we're all working remotely, and I can't think of a better team to be doing this with, um, and I can't think of a, a better team to be helping me personally through this as well, too. Um, they're all very, very supportive. So I'm going to start out with Monica, because she has the biggest team, all of our customer service agents. Um, how are you guys handling all this isolation? Well, hi, Bob. Thank you for having me for the morning coffee. I have one with me. Nothing better than the coffee in the morning. Okay. Thank you. Um, so, yes, I have a team of uh, five people. And as you know, we are 100% remote now uh, to keep everybody safe. So what we do every morning, we meet on a video chat. And we start our meeting with a question. What are you grateful for? And whether it's, you know, staying safe or being active, going for a walk every morning or uh, touching base with a family overseas, um, that's how we build our relationship. And uh, we try to support each other. Then we go on with our daily activities and goals to support our customers the best we can. Awesome. Very cool. And yeah, you've got a, so we use an app called Ring Central. That's our phone system. Uh, and we have a, a, an interactive chat feature on it, which we all can collaborate with. And by far, uh, Monica's team is the most engaged on the app itself. Um, they're constantly chatting back and forth. They're passing messages back and forth. They're really using it to collaborate, which is, which is awesome. Um, I think the next... Yeah, we love the features of the app and it just, you know, staying in touch is the most important part of uh, a job now. Awesome. Yeah, it makes, makes a big deal. And are you guys drinking together in the afternoon? Probably not, right? <laughs> no, we're not. We can't talk about that. <laughs> so, then, and so next we have uh, Rachel. Rachel, come wave. Rachel Kern is in charge of our uh, HR, which I have to really watch what I'm saying because I can get in line. No, you don't. Okay. And uh, as well as our uh, accounts payable and accounts receivable, right? I get that right? As well as everything else. So Rachel holds the distinct honor of being the one voted to have the most windows and, and browser tabs open out of everyone in the company. Uh, any given time, you can walk up to her and you can see at least uh, several dozen, not, this is not a lie, several dozen windows open, uh, <laughs> at least two dozen spreadsheets open, and probably... 40 or 50 tabs open on her browser, and then she wonders why that it slows down. Anyway, so how, how are you guys getting, uh, your, your how's your team dealing with the isolation? Well, thank you, Bob, for that, for telling all of my secrets. I appreciate it, but I'm a great multitasker. Um, we're doing great. Thank you so much, first of all, for setting us up with this Ring Central because we did not know that this was gonna be coming down the pipeline. And my team absolutely loves this Ring Central. It has really helped to keep us um, in communication with one another. And Monica, I absolutely love how you um, are opening up your meetings. And I'm going to hijack that because I think it's really, <laughs> it's really important to be grateful. Um, so my team is meeting um, daily around 1 o'clock just to touch base with one another. But... Um, you know, during the day, if I hear that somebody's struggling, I know I'll reach out to them and, and just ask them how they're doing. And sometimes it just helps for people to vent 
um, and just lay their concerns out on the table. Not that you can do anything for them, but if they just have somebody that is willing to listen and hear them out, um, it really does help them. My team seems to be doing really great. Um, they are in communication a lot behind the scenes without me because I keep hearing them say they're getting on these video chats with one another, which I absolutely love. And um, they're taking advantage of the fun things. Um, this morning, Marie helped me come up with my virtual background, which we had a lot of fun with. So it kind of just helps to lighten up the mood of the day. And really to this morning, it was the thing that put a huge smile on my face. So I love interacting with everybody in the company and just um, hope that all of us can keep encouraging them. And thank you, Bob, because you have been great at that for our SLT team. You keep us balanced and we really appreciate you. Oh, thanks, I appreciate that, that's very kind. Um, yeah, your team is your team is awesome as well too. And, and I, I think I'm amazed um, by how many in your team are really adapting to the technology. <laughs> so I gotta be honest, um, I would have expected at least half your team to be resistance to the technology because just because of where they're at in their careers, right? They've been at their careers for um, 30 plus years in some cases, and uh, they really adapted, Marie especially. I, I'm just so impressed. She's amazing. Yeah, she's amazing. And so we also have Michelle. Um, so Michelle is in a different, more unique position than the rest of us because her family is actually in isolation. Um, her daughter was was uh, in school in Spain and came back and they had to pick her up and they had to put the whole family into isolation. So how, you guys are almost done, right, Michelle? How are you guys dealing with that? We're done. We passed the two week marker. So, I mean, we're obviously all still in isolation, but so far everyone's happy and healthy and we're good. But we have, um, yes, three people working from home and two college students residing primarily in my house, and three dogs. So yeah, it's a busy place. Yeah, and we have to fight for uh, spaces to have our video conferencing because of, inevitably we all three have something at the same time. So that's always fun. We fight for who has to go to the basement or whatever, but it's it's been good. We're, we're all surviving and thriving. I guess thriving. We're thriving. Thriving. There you go. Yeah, it takes but grit. We are almost to that point where, you know, you – you, you don't think you'd ever say, oh, I wish I could go to work today. <laughs> I've actually thought that, you know, several times. Like, wow, it would be really nice to go to work. <laughs> but it's, good. It's, been, it's been good. And I'm getting, actually communicating probably more with some people in our company than I did when I was in the office. For example, my my... My boss, he calls me daily. I, I don't know that I necessarily even interacted with him daily when I was in the office. So, you know, there's <laughs> increased communications maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, he misses you. <laughs> well, see, and that's awesome. I think that's one of the things that this whole isolation has taught all of us. It, I think it's, it's, I mean, we're a close-knit team to begin with. I, I really do believe that. And if, if you guys have, if you feel differently, feel free to speak it. But um, I think it's helped bring us all a little bit closer together because now we have a, a lot of shared concerns aside from the business running, right? We have shared concerns for mutual family members. Uh, we just had one of uh, Monica's team uh, members whose wife just had a child 24 weeks early, right? Or something like that. And baby's been born into isolation and, and, and seeing everybody pitch in onto the chat to let, uh, her CSSR agent Dave know that you know his family is in our thoughts and prayers has, has been amazing. I, I think you know, it's it's helped us all support each other better. From my team's perspective, here's what I've you know we we get together uh, either on chat or on video on a daily basis, and I've told them you know they need to get up for work in the morning like they normally would, get dressed like they normally would, and and act as if they're actually going to the office because that that routine matters. It it helps your it helps your mental state to, to, to get into that mode because when you're working remotely, it, it, it's too easy to fall into the trap. Well, I'm going to roth something on Netflix before I start, or, you know, I'm, I'm going to go run out to the store and, and grab a bite to eat before I start, which you wouldn't do when you're at the office. Right. Um, so I, I think routine is important. And I think this face to face communication that we're doing now um, is, is critically important. It helps keep us connected. Plus, you guys are the bright spot of my day, so it's always good to see you guys. Back at you. Right. Cool. 
Well, guys, thank you very much. And, and uh, thank you for letting me introduce you guys to the LinkedIn, at least my LinkedIn in world. I'll make sure I tag you guys in, in the post. Um, if you get a chance, please feel free to share this on, on your walls, uh, in your feeds as well. And we'll see what happens. And, and I'm just saying to the rest of my, my LinkedIn um, connections and family, you're not allowed to poach these guys from the organization. Just <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.